Is this the way to handle negative energy prices? I don't know. Here is how I will do it. Alright, I really had to go in here because the wind is picking up a lot and th that is also the main reason for this negative energy spike. So my plan here is now to limit my inverter so I will not export anything out to the grid. I will just take care of that energy myself. And why am I doing so here in Sweden when we have this 60 euro per kilowatt hour in tax relief? Well, you will only have this 60 euro for those amount of kilowatt hours that you have imported. And I have exported 6,000 plus kilowatt hours and only imported 3,000 something. So I am not sure that in the end of the year that I will keep up with this export rate. So uh, I'm probably will stand there with uh, more kilowatt hours exported than imported. So that's why I am now today going to limit my export and charge my car, charge my water heater, charge my boat, charge another one kilowatt hour battery bank I have there and charge uh, yeah my old city streamer that I just bought and well yes just try to take down as much energy as possible from the grid and from the sun of course. So well let's start this up and here we go. So first I will start with this huge power bank. I'm just kidding guys, but I need to charge it anyway. <laughs> but then I have this homemade one plus kilowatt hour battery bank that I am used to a lot of stuff. It's a 3S configuration, so it's mostly like 12 volts or 11.1 .1, to be honest. So I will just turn on this. There it is, 10 amps, full power. So this charging session is now over and I have to say that I am pretty pleased with it. I did trip a few stairs once and uh, well I was on the limit the whole day here almost. But uh, anyway I have charged all of my batteries and all four of us has taken a shower and I did start a washing machine and also a dish machine and uh, well that's pretty much it. I also have a DC charger to my city streamer here and I didn't dare to start that up when I did had all of those other loads on it because then my fuse box probably had falling off the wall there or something. So I will just try that out now and show you guys how terrible it sounds. It's a really old one with this humming sound. Now the battery here is ready. Thank you so much. Yeah. I will just show you the charger. So this is a DC charger on 120 volts and 40 amps. So I will plug it in to my city streamer and uh, just try it. Now I just will connect this to the three-phase outlet. 
like so. And then I will just <laughs> turn it on here. Oh my god. It's a little scary. Anyway, it's working and it's probably gonna work like forever. Right, I just wanted to show you that. So let's go in and take a look at the home assistant system and wrap this up. So um, here is the import from the grid. It's the red line here. And then we have the import together with solar power. And uh, I maxed out my consumption at uh, almost 16.5 kilowatt there. And shortly thereafter, I did a trip a fuse so I reset that and I was up and running again and we are here right now so let's go over to the overview here so you can see that I exported 11.1 kilowatt hours during this morning before we had negative energy prices and then I imported 33.8 kilowatt hours and I produced 37.5 kilowatt hours and then I did charge my battery with 1.6 kilowatt hours and I did use during this night 6.8 kilowatt hours and in total I have consumed 65.4 kilowatt hours so I am pretty satisfied with that and now the sun is starting to shining again. It has been a really great day this afternoon. So it's great to see that I am now charging my battery with the rest of the solar power for this day. Well, let's take a last look at this site here. And uh, here is the PV curve during this day. And you can see that the, the blue one here is PV total. The red one is my string number one. And this is the string number two. And this is the solar curve. So this is how the day did look. And uh, we had some sun over here. And also here in the afternoon. But mostly grey weather. Okay, I am now down in my basement. And here is the stuff that has been taking care of all the load this day. And uh, sadly, I think that we will see more of those negative energy prices in the future. So I think it's a good idea to have a battery so it's possible to do some load shifting there. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I hope that I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.